Hi, my name is Jim Ball. I'm a snow dog tech here at Byers Products. Today's video, which I'm very excited about, and you half-ton truck owners are gonna be ecstatic about, is our new V-plow called the VMX V-plow by, by Snow Dog. Um, what's so wonderful about it is the weight. We're using a lot more high strength steel, so the weight of it compared to our VMD plow. So the VMD plow is about 700 pounds and our VMX plow is about 530. With that being said, I'm gonna show you how to disconnect the plow and we're gonna go over the features on the back side. All right, so I got my controller. Now we wanna dismount the plow. So I got the controller in my hand and the first thing I wanna turn the power on. There we go. And then I wanna press down one time, let go. It'll turn in, the dog will turn blue, which is our flow position. I'm gonna press down again for a second and let go. Now it's red flashing. Now I'm gonna go out front and disconnect the plow. So to disconnect the VMX from the truck, the first step we're gonna do is take our safety pin out from the pedal. Then I'm also gonna move a little puddle that we have. And this is just for safety so it doesn't fall back when you're dismounting it. I'm just gonna get it close. The next step is that we wanna get the lift arm down so we have slack in the chain. Right now there's some tension. So we have the controller in mount mode, which is the red flashing dog. So now I'm just gonna press down on the switch and then down on the lift arm. See, now I have slack in the chain. So our next step is just to take the pedal and push. Don't kick, just push forward and now it's spring loaded. So then my next move is I'm gonna take the lift frame. Again, don't, don't press on the lights. That's not a good idea. What you wanna do is take the light bar and just move it toward the grill and you'll see the pins retract. You'll hear a snapping. Of course, that's this pin snapping back in. So I'll do, I'm just I'm looking on this side. I don't see the pin anymore. Just to double check. Then we'll come on the other side. I'm gonna check the pin on this side. Looks like it's been retracted. I'm gonna pull the power from the lights and I'll pull power from the power unit. So the two harnesses are disconnected. Then I'm gonna get in the truck and I'm gonna back away. So we got the plow detached now and the truck's out of the way. Let's look at some of the highlights of the VMX plow. First of all, at Buyers Products, we try and try to keep common parts throughout our plow line. So on the common parts on the VMX plow, compared to the other V plows is number one, the springs. Springs are the same springs across the board. Number two, we have our lift cylinder and our angle cylinders. They're the same on the VMD and the VXF plows. Um, also, the cover, I'm just gonna bring this up because I'm looking at the cover anyways. The cover's a one piece cover, so you can take that out and make sure you get into electrical connections. Really easy for diagnosing. Also, we have a one inch center pin. This center pin is it is one inch. It's the same center pin that we use on our VXF plows. So it's very robust, very strong center point of the V plow. Another thing we have here is our hose routing. And you know, some people might think, oh, it's just hose routing. Well, it's kind of important. So what we have, we have it going through the back, through the A-frame so there's no pinch point. And of course, in the A-frame, instead of just cutting out a hole and throwing a hose through it, we have grommets in there. So you know, you're gonna get less wear and tear and you know, longer life out of these hoses. Also on the new VXF, I'm sorry, VMX plow is, you can see how I can move this lift frame up and down a little bit. Okay, this is because we have some torsion springs, uh, one on each side that's controlling it. So when you back away with the, with, the, with the truck, this is not gonna slam back at you. It's gonna just stay nice and easy. I'm just pushing and barely touching it. So it's very, very stable in this situation, and it's great for storage too. Also, people ask, you know, how'd you take so much weight out of it? Well, we again, we use a lot of higher strength steel where the where places that it needs it, and we took away material that didn't need it, you know. So, a lot of the ribs, you know, have pockets in now we took some weight out of. You still have a 3 8 by six cutting edge, you know, so your cutting edge is gonna last a long time. But if you look at the ribs, again, two springs instead of four, and just higher strength steel in your A-frame, your lift frame, and anywhere we could. So let's get this plow back on the truck and get going. All right, so we got the truck back into position, plows all the way up toward the ears of the truck or the mount. 
The next move is I'm going to take the foot pedal. Just to kind of like preload it. Now it's against the ears right now. So the next step for me is I just got to push the lift frame forward a little bit. Let's get out of the way for the picture here. So all I have to do is kind of like lift up a little bit and then lock right in. Now that the pins are retracted into the holes and make sure they're sticking out of the mounting ears, what I'm gonna do is kind of like just reversal what we did before. Let's just take the safety pin for the pedal. And then I'll take the little leg we have, take the pin out. I'll move the light harness and power harness out of the way. Of course, that's a great place to put the harnesses So once you get that into place, I'm going to go over to the other side and plug in the power and light harness to connect the power harnesses. Of course, that one has the big, large pins in it, and then the one with all the smaller pins is your light harness. And plug that in. And route them nice, and then that's it. So there you have it, a nice little video on the VMX plow. Sorry, all new VMX plow. And I'm talking about its components and how to mount it and dismount the plow. This is very important. If you have any questions, please contact us through our website, Facebook, email, and give us a call. Also, make sure you smash that like button on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And go buy a dog and chase a storm.